Morning all, it's Mel. I hope everybody is doing great. Uh, I've been MIA for a few weeks and I keep meaning to make videos, keep meaning to make videos, but life is really kind of hectic right now. Um, the long story short, hubby and I have decided to sell our house. Um, my MS has not improved or stabilized like we had hoped and um, this property doesn't really work this house doesn't work for me unfortunately so um, the biggest problem is uh, right now is that um, I collected a lot of stuff <laughs> and I need to purge and uh, there's a few things that need to be done around the house. So, um, and we really don't want to go into debt to sell the house. So what I have done is I have, I created a Facebook group and I have been selling off my craft supplies. And um, yeah, it's going well and I think I have made enough to do all the repairs that need to be done. And still I have... Um, so much. I'm so fortunate that I do have the collection of crafty stuff that I do have. So, um, it actually kind of paid for all of this. So anyways, long story short, that's what I've been doing. Purging, selling, purging the house, cleaning the house, blah, blah, blah. So I did make some cards and I wanted to show everybody. The first one I made is this guy here. And, um, it was more appropriate after for the Super Bowl. Uh, it's a little greeting farm image, and uh, I don't know if he's a digi image from the greeting farm, or if um, it's a stamp. I can't recall. Anyways, I colored him um, in the colors of the Patriots. Um, my husband is a New England Patriots fan, so. Anyways, um, I cut the frame out on my cameo and just added a banner and uh, some little metal studs to it and just some kind of masculine themed paper. It, the back is actually grass and then there's just blue that matches the uniform. So anyways, I thought he was super cute. So I just wanted to show him. This is a stamp I got from Simon Says Stamped a few weeks ago. It's an art impression stamp. It's one of their new Valentine ones. And she just cracks me up. I guess she reminds me of me because, let's be honest, chocolate is its own food group. And, um, yeah, <laughs> that's all I got to say about that. So uh, I colored her up, and I actually fussy cut her out, popped her up, and I just kept it really simple. These are these fuzzy felt hearts that I got at the dollar store and these little rosettes I got at the dollar store. I added some um, shiny like glittery red ribbon and a heart doily from my stash and finished it off with some bling. And they all have, they're all finished on the inside too. So that's there. I got a little one in my life who like myself is Hello Kitty crazy. So this is a birthday card for her. And it's just a coloring page, actually, that I just shrunk down. I colored her. And then this is a die from Impression Obsession, I think. And I just uh, cut it out and cut it in half. So happy birthday. And I added a felt, um, felt cupcake that I got from the kids' crafty stuff at Michael's. And actually, the funny story, this is kind of an upcycle thing. This background paper here is actually wrapping paper. My f dear friend gave me a Christmas present this year, and I just loved the paper, and I saved it, and I made a few cards using it. So anyways, so this is my upcycle project this week, I guess. So that's her. Let's see. So I did a bunch of her. I think I got her from Jamie from the Not Too Shabby Shop. And uh, it's dark. Let's see if that helps at all. No, not really. Anyways, um, so I got her from Jamie Not Too Shabby Shop. As he's got a Prezi, I think is what it is. I don't know. Anyway, she's got a little gift. She's got a little um, 
little gift behind her back. So I stamped them on watercolor paper and I actually watercolored them. And they were so much fun. I love these stamps because they, um, I call them like sketch stamps. Like they're not, you know, like perfected, like the line for her hair is not finished. So I feel watercoloring is really um, the way to go with these. Anyways, long story. So, um, so what I did was I kept the layout the same, but I just colored them all different themes. And actually I have a bin of six by six, like of paper that I've cut down to six by six, like when I've cut into a piece or whatever. And, um, this is all scraps that I had because I'm trying to use that stuff up and get rid of it. So I just die cut a big balloon. It's, um, I think Simon says stamp set and I embossed it with a, there you can see it, an American Crafts, I think Dear Lizzie, I think, um, embossing folder that looks like banners. And I added some baker's twine and I actually glued it down so it looks like that and just added a sen sentiment. And they're all the same, they're just different colors and not inside, wishing you the best birthday. So those were fun. This little girl I did get from Jamie, but quite a while ago, and I colored her up. And uh, what happens in the evening here when I'm not actually in my craft room? Um, I get bored watching TV with my husband because um, he's a flicker and it drives me nuts. So I actually will just sit and color random images, and then ju I just have a baggie of them. Here I'll show you, like um, like a baggie of colored images. And then when I decide I want to make some cards, I just sit down and, you know, make cards based on what I've got in the bag. So this is one of them. This is probably, I probably got this from Jamie six months ago, maybe. And um, so I cut her out and I just added her to uh, these craft color doilies that Michael's had at Christmas time. And then just says, happy, happy birthday. And then, oh yeah, coffee keeps me busy until it's acceptable to drink wine. I have a friend who's a coffee wine aficionado and see she's drinking coffee. She's got a little Starbucks cup. And this one here, these are those art impression ladies and I just love them. So I stamped them, fussy cut, uh, I stamped them and colored them. And again, this, all of these were made from scraps from my scrap in. So, cause I'm trying to, um, and by the end of February, whatever is left is actually going like, I'm going to just throw it out, recycle it, I guess, or send it to my husband. He, my husband's work, he works with at risk teenagers. So I might do him up a big care package of paper and stamps, images and stuff like that and send it in so they can make some cards. So anyways, um, colored her and um, added, uh, this is a prima doily, so I just cut her, out, cut that out in the same pattern paper, and this this um, sentiment came with this stamp, so I just stamped it, punched it, added the little um, stickles around it, added some flat back pearls. Oops, sorry. Ugh. My hands are not my friend right now. It says, wine gets better with age. We get better with wine. Happy birthday. And the last one is a card that I absolutely love. I love sunflowers. So um, this is a, my besties, I think. I think. Uh, my bestie stamp and uh, Jamie sells these too but I don't know I'm wondering I don't know if I got this one from Jamie or if I um, got this from one of my local stamp stores so anyways I colored her out and um, she's been colored for ages and I found uh, pattern paper in my stash in my scrap stash that actually matched it perfectly so really simple and this is a paper smooches sentiment I just stamped it the banner fussy cut it out added some pearls to the top and keep calm and party on big time and I added a sunflower on the inside so anyways that's a 
big card share. I just want to touch base and say hi to everyone, and I hope everyone's having a great week and surviving all of this terrible weather everybody seems to be having. Take care.